today let's learn what are structures in c++ structures are user defined data types that is it is being defined by the user for his necessities okay so we know what is an array array endana namukku ariyam alle array nu parane kenjal homogeneous set of elements aanu array kathilullathu pakshe in a structure different data type elements ne namukku group cheyanayittu sadhikkum structure creates a data type for grouping items of different data types under a single data type kandu oru oru otta oru group inagathu namukku different types of elements ne orumichu kondu varanayittu sadhikkum adanu oru structure nammal oru example consider cheyanengil consider a person okay nammal oru person de information store cheyan vendiyittu oru structure create cheyan povan so a person de details la his name will be there his age will be there his designation will be there etc etc many things will be there for that particular person right so ayal de details nu parnu kanyal ellam same data type elements aayirikkilla name nu parnu kanyal string aanu age is integer designation is again string adhe pole date of birth salary adella integers aanu address varumbodhekku adu veendum string aanu see it is going on changing so angane ulla avare namukku group cheythu oru structure inde ullile idanayittu sadhikkum now let's see how to initialize or define a structure okay adinu use cheyna syntax ivada nammal parannittunde struct struct name that is struct is a keyword and then give the name of the structure open the curly bracket write the elements which are to be included within this and then close the curly bracket and you have to put a semicolon okay this is the way how to define a structure struct keyword edanam structure nu peru kodukanam bracket inde ullile you have to write the elements which are to be included avashyamulla elements ne edan okay so ivda parnittunde struct keyword and name of the structure within the curly brackets you have to include the different data type elements ivda example parnittunde struct keyword and name of the structure is person see these are the elements which we are including name is there citizenship is there age is there kanda ivarada data types are different aan name inde the care parnittunde citizenship is int and it is also in different data types ne nammal club cheyan vendi use cheynadana structure okay adu kaynittu nammal curly bracket close cheyumbol you have to put a semicolon okay ne how to create a structure instance structure instance adile oru item nammal engane vilikkan vendi you have to create the instance of the structure okay അതിനു വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ നെയിംഡ് പേഴ്സൺ ഇപ്പൊ തൊട്ട് മുമ്പുള്ള എക്സാമ്പിൾ നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മളൊരു സ്ട്രക്ചർ പേഴ്സൺ എന്നുള്ള പേരിൽ യു ഹാവ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ റൈറ്റ് സോ ആ പേഴ്സൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സ്ട്രക്ചറിൽ പി ഇസ് ദ വേരിയബിൾ വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് വിച്ച് യു ആർ ആക്സസിംഗ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ okay adana the p is a struct variable of type person we can use this variable to access the members of the structure our members in access cheyanam engil you need a way and for that p is being used over here next is how to access structure members okay nammal ipo tottu munbu kandu അതിന്റെ ഒരു ഇൻസ്റ്റൻസ് നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ എഴുതി അല്ലെ പേഴ്സൺ എന്നുള്ള സ്ട്രക്ചറിന് പി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഇൻസ്റ്റൻസ് എഴുതി ന ആ നമ്മള് സ്ട്രക്ചർ പേഴ്സന്റെ ഉള്ളില് നമ്മള് നെയിം ആൻഡ് ദൻ ഏജ് ആൻഡ് സിറ്റിസൺഷിപ്പ് ഇത്രയാണ് നമ്മൾ എഴുതി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അല്ലെ അവരെ ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു യൂസ് ദ ഡോട്ട് ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ഓക്കെ കണ്ട ഇവിടെ എക്സാമ്പിൾ കിടപ്പോണ്ട് പി ഡോട്ട് age that means p is that particular instance which you have created age is the element within the 
structure and you have given the value as 32. So our person age number 32 are key assigned to. Okay. Number of example parnit under hash include IO stream dot h using namespace std. So this is a structure, struct person. Name of the structure is person. The elements included within that is citizenship and age. See, for instance, create the P and then see P dot citizenship. You have called, uh, you have access to the element citizenship, which is in the structure person using the variable P. Okay. So, number value assigned to 5 and then age number assigned to 32. So, in that way, any okay elements on the everything you can give like this. For all the elements, you can give the values like this. And then you are printing it or displaying it, person citizenship. So, you know, this will print as it is and then P dot citizenship. That means 5 will print it over here and then end line. And in the next line, person age will be printed and age of the person will be printed. Okay, then return 0. See the output, person citizenship is 5 and person age is 32. Okay. One slide again I say that I'm going to structure Adhim and declare here. Adhim structure define chain. What are the elements within the structure you have to see and then you have to create the variable for that particular structure and then with the help of that particular variable and the dot operator you have to call the elements within the structure and do as you need. Based on the necessity, you have to print or do something. You do like that. Okay. Anganiyana namla C plus plus in the structure ne kurcha parayadu. Okay. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.